you call a uh, customer service in most in, in many companies, you know, it's very clear that you're you've been put in the backstage, not you're not on the front stage anymore. You're in the backstage voicemail system that's really not designed to optimize your time as a customer. It's actually designed with almost disdain for your time as a customer. It's optimized for the efficiency of the co the cost efficiency of the company, not for you. Um, there's a great example. Uh, this is a gr great story I just read about the guy, uh, one, the team that actually invented, um, this, well, maybe started to uh, uh, invent the idea of service-oriented architectures in IT, and um, uh, they were working with uh, Wells Fargo Bank, and uh, this is in the, I think, in the uh, 1990s. And at the time, uh, this is before there was internet banking of any kind, and uh, the, I, the, the, the problem that Wells Fargo was starting to realize from a service perspective is that they could not see an individual customer in any of their systems. They could only see accounts. And uh, they, a customer might have five different accounts, and to the bank that looked like five different people. And uh, as they started to realize, we, well, we want to be able to think about things from the customer's perspective, uh, well, of course, a customer's going to want to see all of their five accounts with the bank in one place, and they realized they had no way to do that. So they, um, they actually uh, started to develop these technology architectures to be able to you know, use the information they already had in their existing system, but to uh, kind of pull the information together and make it accessible in one place at the, kind of at what you might call the service layer or the customer interface. And um, this this is kind of the beginning of, uh, of uh, service-oriented architectures and technology and web services. Um, this kind of sort of came out of this idea that, well, um, we need to be able to provide information from systems that were built for company convenience to systems that are designed for customer convenience because they're uh, you know, in, in many ways they're in conflict. What's convenient for customers is inconvenient for the company. And what's convenient for the company is inconvenient for customers. So how do you, how do you marry between those worlds? And, of course, a company that does everything inconveniently and only cares about customers probably will have trouble making a profit. 